Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the ball toss, and I want to talk about the two main problems why so many people have enormous problems with the ball toss and some great solutions that we've got that should give you an accurate and consistent ball toss immediately. The ball toss can be a huge source of frustration for players of all levels, even up to very high competition level. For some players, it truly is a massive problem. There are two main reasons for this. The first one is that many players flick the ball with the wrist instead of making a smooth motion with the wrist staying totally neutral throughout the, uh, throughout the toss. And the second one is the rhythm, because most recreational players start the serve way too quickly. Even players with super fast service actions like Nick Kyrgios, they actually start very slowly and then work their way to the very, very fast action once they hit the ball. So let's start first of all with the solution to the flick with the wrist. So the solution for a lot of players for this is to hold the ball in a slightly different manner. There are some, not most professional players don't do this, but some do. And that is to hold the ball with the bottom two fingers here and the middle finger and the forefinger actually holding the ball. And then as you make the ball toss, what I think of this is actually scissoring the ball. So what I want to do is when the, when the hand comes up to release the ball, these two fingers open like scissors. See? So now I hold it like so. I go into the ball toss. These two fingers open like scissors. Once again, they open like scissors. And now into a full service action and they open like scissors. Now, this is a really great solution because the problem is when you flick the ball with the wrist, you will always put immense spin on the ball. So some players, I know that a lot of the people viewing this will have had this experience. The ball toss can be so bad that it kind of flicks off into a crazy place where you couldn't even reach it after two bounces. So it's not just bad for the stroke, it's just flat out embarrassing. But if you hold the ball this way with these two fingers, and then open the fingers into a scissor movement, then it is extremely difficult to impart spin on the ball. So for those of you that have this problem with the flick, this is a really good solution. For the players who have problems with rhythm, that they send the ball up so quickly, serving and beginning the stroke before they're really ready, then that can be a very hard habit to break as well. But what I suggest that you do is disconnect the head and the hand. You see, the human body is amazing and the brain's incredible at making connections. And so when we make a forehand or a backhand, there are hundreds, maybe thousands of connections made to make that beautiful fluid motion. And the biggest connection in the ball toss at the beginning of the serve is between the head and the hand. So nearly everybody begins the serve with the head and the hand synchronized. And it looks like this. See how synchronized that motion is. But if you have a problem with this being too quick and too jerky and lacking rhythm, then there are two ways that you can disconnect the head from the arm. One is the method of Naomi Osaka and Serena Williams, and that is to look up with the head and then place the hand up into the air and make the ball toss. So it looks a little bit like this. And again, and by disconnecting the head from the hand, then the rhythm of the movement changes and it becomes more deliberate because it's not the natural but incorrect rhythm that you have. The second way of doing this is to do it where the hand goes up and then the head follows. This is like Roger Federer and Sophia Kenin. Sophia Kenin is very distinct in this. And so I'm going to begin the serve with my head neutral. And then I look up. Again, neutral. So quite simply, by separating the hand and the head 
the rhythm of your ball toss will change and it won't get faster. It will get slower because it's an unnatural action and you'll feel that you're kind of having to relearn it. And so in having to relearn it and slow it down, you'll solve the problem. I'd love to know how these two solutions work in either your game or the players that you coach because so many players have such a problem with the ball toss and these really are practical instant solutions that work. If you need players to practice with in your area or you want coaches for your local area, have a look at our partners playyourcourt.com. They'll find local players in your area of your level to play with or they'll send professional tennis coaches direct to your local court. It's a great service and there's a 50% discount off their membership if you click the link in the comment section below. And if you like our ideas and you really want to take your game to the next level, then have a look at what online coaching can do for you. The information's in the website or you can contact us and we'll give you more information. We do video analysis, but that's only a small part. We do personalized one-to-one -one lessons such as this, but direct to you for your game. It's a truly unique service and it really works. So remember to solve your ball toss problems. And these are problems that are driving some people truly crazy. If it's the flick, use the scissor grip and actually send the ball up without rotation and with control. If it's the rhythm, then look at disconnecting the head from the hand and you'll have an instant solution. If you have both of these problems, then apply both solutions. A little bit more difficult, and I'm sorry you've got these problems, but this still will work for you, and you'll have a controlled, accurate, and consistent ball toss, which means that you'll have a controlled, accurate, and deadly serve. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.